Good day, my dear grade 8 students. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. I am Miss Christine Joy Arumi, your science teacher. Welcome to another episode of Science Adventures. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Well, in this video, I will take you to a flyby tour outside the Earth, providing a closer look at comets, meteors, and asteroids in space. So let's get started! Before we begin with our lesson, let us have an opening prayer first. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to begin this new day. As we begin our class, we ask you to give us the knowledge and wisdom that we need to help us in understanding our lesson today. Please bless my students and help them as they grow. May I teach them faithfully the things they need to know so they may face the future knowing they're prepared. We pray that you will guide us in all ways so that we will seek your will in everything that we do. We bring back all the glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Here are some reminders before we start with our lesson. First, watch this video lesson until the end so you will get acquainted with our lesson. Second, be attentive and stay focused. Third, make sure you have the following before we start. Your self-learning module, a notebook, and a pen so you can take down notes. And here are some COVID-19 prevention reminders. To begin with, let us have this activity first, I know the space. This is a multiple choice with 5 questions, and you have to answer each question within 5 seconds. Let's start with question number 1. The primary chemical constituent of comets is A. Water B. Nitrogen C. Methane or D. Carbon Dioxide Your timer starts now. The answer is letter A, water. Question number two. Most of the asteroids orbit the Sun in a belt between the orbits of A, Venus and Mars, B, Mars and Earth, C, Mars and Jupiter, or D, Jupiter and Saturn. And the answer is letter C. Mars and Jupiter. Question number three. Most meteoroids are formed when A. Comets melted B. Asteroids exploded or collided C. Volcanoes erupted or letter D. Satellites exploded or collided And the answer is Letter B. Asteroids exploded or collided Question number 4. The asteroids are A. Miniature planets B. Packets of gas in the solar system C. Satellites of planets or letter D. Planets orbiting the stars other than the sun and The correct answer is letter A. Miniature planets Question number 5. Meteors are a. Falling stars B. Signals from the other worlds C. Solar wind particles captured by the Earth's magnetic field or D. Luminous trails left by small extraterrestrial particles rapidly passing and The correct answer is Letter D. Luminous trails left by small extraterrestrial particles rapidly passing Who among you got a perfect score? If that's so, good job! Here are our lesson objectives. After going through this lesson, you should be able to 1. Compare and contrast comets, asteroids, and meteors 
2. Draw how impact craters are formed when a meteor or asteroid hits Earth. 3. Value the importance and occurrence of comets, meteors, and asteroids. Let us now proceed to our lesson. Characteristics of comets, meteors, and asteroids. Let us talk first about comets. Ever since people know already about comets, you will ask your grandparents about comets so they will tell you some superstitions about comets bring bad luck. Why? Because there are those who believe that comets were bad spirits that the looks of a girl with a head and its long hair behind. To others, the looks of a comet as a sword. It is believed to be an indication of war, death, and famine. Some characteristics of a comet are vague, bright big dirty snowball composed of rock dust covered around a massive ball of ice. This charming sight within the sky is moving very slowly but remain in our sight for weeks before disappearing out of view. A comet enters a large elliptical orbit because the comet travels closer to the sun, it ought to lose an amount of its material. However, when it comes back to the place and element of the system, it slowly appears smaller and gloomy until it disappears completely. Sometimes, the characteristic of a comet may have a solid and rocky core for it to endure traveling around its orbit as a dark barren asteroid. Comets don't give energy and light weight, therefore it's not visible. But, since it travels closer to the sun, the comet becomes clear because the warmness of the sun melts the eyes of the comet and turns it to gas. This gas develops into a coma, which covers and hides the nucleus from our view. One part of the comet is that the so-called head. It composed of a nucleus and coma. It becomes bigger as more gas and mud are released from the coma. The radiation blows more and more gas from the coma, causing it to create a tail, which in some comets can reach up to 150 kilometers in length. Most comets are thought to originate from a huge cloud called the Oort Cloud, which is too far away for astronomers to see. Based on the study, there's no clear evidence showing that a comet has ever hit into the world. But some scientists claim that comet is one in every of the most possible reasons that designate the extinction of dinosaurs million years ago. They hypothesize that an oversized comet entered into the world and caused an enormous destructions like earthquakes and tsunami which presently caused the changes within the temperature and climate. Now, let us proceed to meteors. Can you ask your parents and other members of the family about the couple of falling star? What is a falling star? Are you able to catch it? Will it slot in your pocket? Another known celestial object within the scheme is that the meteors. Their dust and eyes from the pathway of comets. Meteors are stone-like but made from several minerals and rich in silicon and oxygen, consisting mainly of iron and nickel or stony iron, a mix of the two. When meteors travel through the layer of the Earth's atmosphere, friction caused them to heat up, and so the meteor surface starts to warm up and flare. That is the time the warmth and high speed combine to vaporize the meteor usually high above Earth's surface. It will happen when a meteoroid is passing through the Earth's atmosphere and heats up within the process. You can differentiate an asteroid and a meteor through their characteristics. An asteroid could be a small rocky object that travels around the sun. A meteor will occur when a small piece of an asteroid or comet, which is understood as a meteoroid, flare up upon traveling Earth's atmosphere. 
the observable light emitted by a meteor may take in various colors, depending on the chemical composition of the meteoroid and the speed of its movement through the atmosphere. Colors of meteors are depending on the relevant influence of the metallic content of the meteoroid and the superheated air plasma which its track produces. For the orange-yellow meteor, it contains a sodium. For the yellow, it has iron. For the blue-green, magnesium. Violet, calcium. Red, atmospheric nitrogen and oxygen. Here are more interesting fun facts about meteors. There are millions of meteors in the Earth's atmosphere every day. Meteors can become visible as high as 120 kilometers above Earth. If a meteor produces a sound called a sonic boom, it is typically heard seconds after the meteor becomes visible. Usually, meteors are the size of pebbles and no larger than a baseball. Although meteors have existed since ancient times, they were not believed to be from our solar system until 1833. And many more interesting facts can be found in your self-learning modules on page 4. Lastly, we have asteroids. Another fascinating object within the system are the asteroids. The simply rocky or metallic objects orbiting the sun within the same way the planets do. However, asteroids are hard to determine because they're reflecting little light and that they are always moving. No asteroids have an environment. Asteroids are available in all sizes and shapes. Some asteroids that are tiny as pebbles and few are as big as mountains. Since they're smaller than planets, they're often called miniature planets or planetoids. Ceres is the largest of the asteroids. It is about 930 kilometers in diameter. Are you able to imagine how huge that is? Like every other big rock, they will be potato-shaped, papaya-shaped, or have strange shapes. There are many asteroids orbiting the Sun during a region between Mars and Jupiter. This area is named the Belt. They are following a rather elliptical path because they orbit the Sun within the same direction as the planets. A larger object like a planet can be pulled an asteroid out of the orbit. And once an asteroid is captured by the gravitational pull of a planet, it should become a satellite of that planet. Many astronomers believed that the two satellites of Mars, Phobos and Demos, are captured asteroids. If it's not due to the enormous planet Jupiter that pulls the asteroids outwards, large asteroids would constantly be hitting Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Earth. Now, let's wrap things up. Comets, meteors, and asteroids are considered as celestial objects that orbit around the Sun. They come from different sizes and shapes. Comets orbit the Sun like asteroids, but comets are made up of ice and dust, not rocks. A comet has three parts, nucleus, head, and tail. A meteor is what happens when a meteoroid, a small piece of asteroid or comet, burns up upon entering the Earth's atmosphere, creating a streak of light in the sky. Asteroids are small, rocky objects that orbit around the Sun. They are smaller than a planet, but bigger than a pebble-sized object called meteorite. Now, after exploring the amazing asteroids, comets, and meteors, test yourself if you can compare and differentiate the three. Let us answer what I have learned, my characteristics, to know how well you understood. Here are five characteristics of comets, meteors, and asteroids. Choose from the following choices, A to G, and write a letter before each characteristic in your activity notebook. 
We will check your answer after 30 seconds. You can start now. Time's up. Let us now check your answers. Number one, progress across the sky very slowly. The answer is letter B refers to meteors. Number two, known as falling stars or shooting stars. The answer is letter B. It also refers to meteors. Number three, remnants of the formation of the solar system. The answer is letter C. It refers to asteroids. Number four, they glow as they enter the Earth's atmosphere. The answer is letter F. It refers to both asteroids and comets. Number five, reflect sunlight. The answer is letter C. It refers to asteroids. Did you got it all right? If that's so, good job! Lastly, let us now proceed to your assessment. We have here multiple choice with six questions. You can pause this video while answering. I will provide you with answer keys so that you can check your answers. You may now start answering. That's all for now, my dear students. I hope you have learned a lot. See you next time in another fun learning in science adventure. This is your science teacher, Miss Christine Joy Arumin, saying, Do the best that you can until you know better. And when you know better, you can do better. God bless and keep safe, everyone.